And what were the circumstances of finding it? Basically, we served a search warrant on a property. Other stolen vehicles brought us here, and this one was here. Wow. Well, guys, we are beyond excited because as you can clearly see from that title, we just got some of the best news we've received in a really long time. I literally thought I was dreaming because I woke up to a text message from a sergeant of a police department saying, hey, I think we might have found your stolen vehicle. Please call me. So this is very promising. There is still that 1% chance that this could be a twin to our truck, but we are so excited. It sounds like it runs. It sounds like a couple things have of course been messed with, but we're hoping that we'll be able to drive it home. Yeah, we don't really know what condition it's in. Like, was it running things in the desert and it's gonna be all beat up? Like, we don't know. This is just so crazy because like, honestly, we gave up a little bit of hope after, what's it been? A, a few weeks now, yeah, I was really starting to lose hope. Everybody, when they were asking about it said, you know, sorry bro, it's definitely in Mexico by now. Like it is gone. It's time you move on and replace the truck. And honestly, I hate to admit it, but two nights ago, I was looking up other trucks. How dare you? We need to get a truck to tow these cars around. We've been in such a pickle. It's time I go buy. Uh, a GMC Denali with the 6.2, but exactly. no longer getting that. <laughs> He's been having some crazy thoughts. Nothing can replace the 6.0. And, and guess what? We're not going to the Mexico border. We're driving less than an hour away, northwest to the Wickenburg, Arizona area. I can't believe it. Like that's not that far away. And the story, we'll tell it after we get the truck, but it's it's crazy. He told a little bit of it on the phone and we'll, we'll talk to him more. He said he'll tell us more when we get to the police station. So we'll fill you in after we pick it up. All right, so here we go, off on the one hour drive and let's hope that we can get it home. One hour later. Okay, we're just a few minutes out and Christian and I had some thoughts along the way. And my overarching thought is most likely the wheels and tires and probably the catalytic converter, they've gotta be gone. I'm, I'm trying to be realistic, those are the most distinctive part of the car that we told fans to look out for, the bronze method race wheels, mm -hmm. and they're so easy to swap off. I would not be surprised if there's an F-150 set of wheels on this thing. But at the same time, I'm optimistic that maybe they saw our video and realized how notable this truck is, and maybe they just put it away in the garage to lower some heat cool down on the truck for maybe a month or two before parting out all of these parts out on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. All right, I know we're in the right place because we got a truck, 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 truck. This is clearly <laughs> truck country. Clearly somebody just needed a truck. Yeah, why are we getting so mad at this thief? He just needed a truck to borrow. I'm sure he was gonna give it back. One minute out. Here we go, moment of truth. Place your bets, guys. Will the wheels still be on the truck? Christian thinks yes, I think no. And hey, if the cat's cut out, then straight pipe 6.0 just <laughs> happened without us even trying. Okay, here we go. Oh, he has different wheels! No! No, I knew it! No! No! Shoot, darn it! They took my wheels! Uh, I figured that would happen. What about our seats? Please don't swap out our seats. Uh-oh, I see some, uh, hey, is that your hitch? No, it's a different hitch. Oh, they were towing with this thing. All right, here's the cop. What a guy, this dude saved the day. Well guys, the swapped wheels are the least of our concerns because unfortunately, this truck had a very rough life the past few weeks. Look at the bumper, it's completely bent down. Just so much damage across the whole thing. The amount of Arizona pinstripes, all these scratches throughout the entire side of the car, they were clearly off-road, maybe delivering some goods illegally. Oh, this paint, that is, that's yeah. a bummer. They hit the grill up front and cracked the grill. And this and, interior, uh, it's complete up interior. It's completely trashed. All their junk, cigarette butts everywhere. The seats, my, the beautiful Richmond upholstery seats that were so nice before are completely, look, just everywhere you look, it's damaged. This light's missing. They rip binoculars. Binoculars. What they use those for? One button in the ashtray. All oh, right. Actually, that's not even the ashtray. This is the ashtray. Look, in this screen, they completely ripped out our radio and replaced it with this screen, which I don't know. We're keeping that. Maybe it's worth something. Look at the seat. It's just all, it was like perfect before, and now it looks like it is. 100,000 miles just on the seat. This was brand new. Look at the look at the JR garage. This used to be bright white and now it's just a 
dirty. What the heck does this happen in three weeks? They, How many miles did they put on it? Look, that light's missing. Just everywhere is trashed. What the heck? These lights are missing. Gosh. Just everything is trashed. All this junk. What the heck is all this crap? This is tough to see. Our truck that we cared for so much and just Wait, seeing them absolutely trash everything. Look at all these tools. Oh my gosh. I don't even want to know all the illegal things this truck was up to. RFGS detector. I wonder what that's like used for. Probably for like cop scanning them or like something like that. Smells like cigarettes in here. Given that all these reflectors are gone, when they were doing their probably illegal runs to Mexico, they took out all these lights because in the desert, I'm sure they had like no lights on. They wanted to be, you know, stealthy and all that. All of this crap in the bed. Maybe Jeez. cutting wheels, cutting through barbed wire, some uh, some farm jacks and some chains and ropes. Oh yeah. And... Hey, well, we always need a toolbox in this truck, so. Yeah, but too bad it doesn't fit the bed. Why? <laughs> oh, jeez, look at this, hitch everything. Straps, oh, we could use those. Oh, jeez, all the cans, cigarette butts, they just beat the crap out of this truck. And I feel so bad because we did, we took nothing but the best care for it and to just have these people violate us and steal it, beat the crap out of it, just, we feel so bad for the truck. At least it's back in good hands now. But I just feel, I don't even want to know what it's been through the past three weeks. Seems like it was ran really, really hard. They definitely realized they hit the jackpot with our truck, you know, being that it has the airbags and aftermarket suspension and then had all the engine work done. Like this was definitely their most reliable truck. I'm sure, I'm sure the kingpin of this uh, drug operation was like, whoa, why'd you steal a six old? Like this is the worst truck. It's gonna break down halfway through. And then like all of a sudden it, it never gives up because it's fully bulletproof and it's gonna run forever. They were probably surprised at how reliable it was. Uh, all jokes. I'm trying to joke through this terrible situation to make me feel better. But anyway, let's see uh, if it'll start. Christian and I just checked the oil and get this guys. So we, we took our key. Remember, they, they stole this truck and we, we immediately checked. We still had the keys. So they didn't steal our keys. They just like um, broke in and whatever, took a screwdriver to it, however you steal trucks these days. But we go to put in our key, it won't turn. They redid the whole ignition switch and now we get nothing with our key. So they made themselves a new key. Uh, was anything in here? Is our registration stuff still in here? Oh, just yeah, a bunch of trash. Yeah, I know a little bit of his address and... Uh, what? Oh man, the guy, he was just trying to get to court. Uh, He's got court tomorrow. Yeah, wow, on this piece of mail we have his name and address. Most likely the guy who stole the truck and was running it. So I really... Let's go ask him for our method wheels. Yeah, I really want to pay him a visit right now. What do you guys think? Follow up for a part two video where we... Hey, Mr. Tyler, a visit? Okay. All right, anyway, let's see if it starts. Oh, yeah, they said on the way over here from the house, the brakes felt a little squishy. Oh, jeez, really they probably toasted these brakes. Do we have any, like, pads left? Pads, rotors? Oh, I can't even get in there. Huh. I don't know. They probably, like, overheated the brakes so many times. Running huge loads, trailers. Is the check engine light on? We'll see. Let's see. Yeah, no check engine light. Okay, Christian was just testing if the brakes work and we do have some brake pressure. It's definitely a little more spongy and at least it runs okay. But you were saying the stupid uh, the Prindle. Selector. The gear selector thing doesn't work anymore. It just shows one. So we don't know what gear we're in. You gotta count them down to drive. So that's annoying. And we're still trying to figure out the wheels. Um, basically, here, let me get over here away from the cops, okay. So basically, it's crazy with the wheels. We told him, hey, those aren't our wheels. Like He's like, well, what do they look like? And we said they're bronze method race wheels with the old common tires. So he called his units back at the place where this was, where it was all going down. And they're like, oh my goodness, your wheels are on this other truck. So they swapped them, but it's becoming such a mess because we need to prove that those are our wheels. Obviously, they're like, clearly we know they're your wheels, but the other truck, which isn't, stolen at least in their Yet. system it's not showing as stolen so they have no right to like take the wheels off that truck that's rightfully owned on paper right now because that truck was sold to somebody else who was owed money they can't go take those wheels and give them back to us because it, they were it, they were supposedly sold legally with the truck and it's their it's that rightful owner's property our wheels 
So we need to find some sort of proof, some sort of serial number on a tire or something that would stand up in court that these are indeed our wheels and tires that we have a million photos of. What a but mess. we'll see if we got a photo of a serial number or but something. It's kind of our least concern right now. Like whatever, wheels and tires, those are replaceable. We'll have you to know. See how this drive back goes because that'll tell us a lot just with the way the truck feels and if any suspension was really uh, stressed over the past three weeks. <laughs> yeah. I think clearly it was. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, yeah. The ball joint looks uh, oh, a little shoot. busted. Oh shoot, yep. Leaking fluid and grease. Yep. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, Christian's going away in the Tesla. I'm in the truck because my name's on it in case we get pulled over with no plate. I swear if we get pulled over, I'll laugh. What the heck is this? This screen, they ripped out our radio and oh my lord. Ugh, smells so bad in here. Oh geez, I, I don't know which one's drive. That's that's really annoying. Without you seeing park, you gotta count them down. Okay, reverse, neutral, drive. Okay, that should be drive. Okay, we're moving. Yeah, the brakes feel a little, a little spongy. We're back, baby. Thank you, police officers and the special stolen truck task force here and finding our truck. Okay, it shifts. Oh yeah, I can hear all sorts of suspension clanking. I'm like scared to go fast, like if the brakes don't work. Got 7,000 pounds moving down the road, I better be able to stop. Oh, and it's so frustrating that we can't see the mileage. I guess whatever they did, they fried the ECUs or mileage computers, and now it just shows 8888888. So we don't know how many miles they put on it, but clearly it looks like a lot of miles. Well, the engine still sounds healthy, which is incredible. A testament to bulletproof diesel. This thing probably getting absolutely abused. Let's test my brakes. Looks like we can stop. Christian and I are stopping by this taco truck. Support the locals. Oh, that suspension sounds terrible. Definitely needs some suspension work. All right, we secured lunch, got a nice burrito and some enchiladas, and we got the two polar opposites together again. The Tesla and the truck. Oh, I am still, I don't know how to feel, whether I should be ecstatic and thrilled and happy or sad. Two hours later. Okay, and just like that, we're putting our truck to work again. Just picked up the trailer, because Christian's gotta head down to the co-part yard to pick up our next little cool project car and maybe the next free car giveaways. Don't want to say what it is yet, but uh, he's going to go do that and then we'll get him back at the garage. Three hours later. No ramps needed. Pretty cool. Okay, we got to scooch the car over to clear the door. One, two. <laughs> That'll do it. Easy. Gotta love cars you just pick up and move. Christian just got back from the auction picking up the latest car to be joining the channel. Uh, soon, but then again, we have like five other cars that need to be revealed So I don't know which order they're gonna come in But this one we picked up today is pretty cool and probably uh, the next car to be also given away after the Corvette for the free car giveaway So if you want to win one of our free cars for free doing nothing then follow free car giveaways We're gonna be giving away a few cars this year at least so stay tuned It's gonna be a good year But as promised we need to fill you guys in on this pretty crazy story about how they recovered the truck. So we told you a few things throughout this video, but gotta fill you in on a little bit more. So like I said, when I woke up, I got those calls and missed texts from this deputy that said, hey, we might have just found your truck. And I gave him a call back, and sure enough, our description matched up and everything with the VIN was checked out. So so he filled us in a little bit on the phone. It sounds like these police officers were serving a warrant or showing up, searching this dude's house property. And what do you know, in the backyard of the house are these trucks, one of them, being our truck, and as we explained in this video, apparently there were other trucks and that's how the wheel swap happened and random parts got in our truck and some of our parts got in the other trucks. But when we were there in person, we tried to pry a little more information out of him, like were these like the cartel we're dealing with and this truck was like running down to and from Mexico? Or was it a well-known like chop shop that was gonna cut up our truck for parts or try to get some more information and it sounded like Christian can explain a little more too, because you were there. He, he was saying that that in those uh, last couple weeks, they had a ton of trailers stolen from that area, and they believe the guy who stole this truck or had it in his possession was using it to steal trailers. Yeah, so the equipment in the bed of the truck is tough to tell exactly. It seems like honest construction kind of equipment, 
but then you look at this guy here and you've got a like a five inch uh, cutting wheel. This uh -huh. will cut through some chains and maybe barbed some, wire, some locks or something, and a bunch of yeah. other uh, tools. Like there's like fuel pump handles and a giant winch that could probably like pull anything out of anywhere. Yeah, super weird. We're trying to figure out. Okay, was it used for stealing trailers or running drugs or? even worse but we're just for this guy's contracting business you're right you know what he's a guy tough on his times so you just need a truck to do contract maybe you know what we can't judge a book by its cover too bad but then again by all the court documents and mailings that are now in our glove box sure he's got a lengthy criminal history and the craziest thing get this when the cops said oh this truck is stolen what are you doing with it he's like i i i, I don't know i'll be darned i had no idea my friend owed me money and gave me this truck as payment. Shocking. But that was his defense as to why he had a stolen truck in his driveway. Also crazy to think that this thing has been driven for the past three weeks. This thing has had lots of miles put on it. So it has been right under all of our noses. And by just changing it to black wheels, taking off the Method Race Wheel sticker, and I think that's all he did to try to disguise the truck. Oh yeah, here's something else. He swapped the plate, so he put on a different Ford truck plate, so that's why, even though it was in the national database, anytime it gets read by a police car, it's not gonna show up because it has a legal license plate on it, not our stolen plate that's con in conjunction with this truck. So that's why he got away, I'm sure, for a lot longer than he would have if he was running our plate, showing that it's stolen. They did arrest the guy, so uh, just like we said in the first video, if that dude who stole our truck was out there watching it, we said, please, park it in a parking lot and leave it or else you're probably gonna go to jail or whatever and what do you know three weeks later the dude gets arrested and is in jail right now so ah. sorry bro tried to try to tell you not to do it so and if you are a bad criminal out there trying to uh, think about stealing any of our cars. Don't do that. We've obviously improved our security <laughs> tenfold with all sorts of new cameras tracking devices and everything so yeah, you're yeah. definitely not going to want to do that or ever try anything with us again if you're watching. Oh boy, Christian having fun with all of his new tools. I'm going to go inventory these. At the end of the day, we do have to count our blessings. We're safe. We're healthy. The truck is back. You know, even though it is beat up, it's mangled, it's tattered, it is in need of our love again. What the heck is that? A tackle box? Yeah. With fishing lures in it? Dude, this guy really made the truck his own. Oh, one other thing that reminds me. Remember how we would always deal with this buckle, like falling all the way to the oh, floor? Yeah, yeah. He didn't like dealing with that, and so he put a safety pin here in oh, order great. to keep this from falling all the way down. What a guy. So how nice of him. That. So yeah, have no fear. We're going to get cleaning this thing up. Um, we're hopefully going to get our wheels and tires back if we can prove that we own them. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's going to be annoying. Uh, we'll maybe polish the paint, try to get some of those scratches out. We'll take a deep, 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 deep cleaning this interior, maybe do some maintenance to it, the new brake fluid and all that stuff so that it mechanically is sound once again. Oh boy, we'll need to fix this grill. Uh, we'll replace the bumper if we were trying to be perfect or fix it, but we'll just leave it, it's good enough. This is all bent up down here, the suspension stuff. Maybe this is the rattling. Oh boy, more broken suspension. Wait, that's not suspension. What is I that? I don't know what this is. What the heck, it says Ford on it. Oh well, it is what it is. We're glad to have it back and at least at the end of the day, we have some YouTube content now. There were so many people in the comment sections with similar stories. Hey, I had a 6.0, it got stolen. Hey, my 7.3 got stolen. Hey, this, this, and this. And a lot of times they didn't get their truck back and it was gone forever. So we really gotta appreciate that we do have our baby back and we'll get it back driving and looking just as good, if not better than before. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.